old school bodybuilding clothing company. If it's been three and a half hours since you last ate protein, and now you're starting to freak out, you are old school. If watching someone sit on a hammer machine for five minutes between sets playing with their phone pisses you off, you are definitely old school. OSBBC.com for the hardest training athletes. Welcome back to RX Muscle Spotlight. And today's competitor is an old friend of mine. He just won his pro card at the NPC Junior Nationals in the classic physique category. He's now an IFBB pro, and the man I'm talking about is Bartley Weaver. Welcome to the show. Hey, Dave. Thanks for having me, man. It's been a it's been a long time coming, as you uh, can probably remember. Yeah. You know, uh, you were my first and only coach back yeah. in what was it about 2016 or so? Yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's, I don't. Yeah. It, everything starts to blur in my head, but yeah. Uh, Probably, you know, it's funny because, you know, we worked together and then you made those, probably one of my favorite t-shirts is, is your t-shirts that you made me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're still doing those, right? I, yeah. I need to get you one of these. I just, uh, oh, yeah, got I a podcast, uh, yeah, had this custom made. So we got a cookie right here eating a slice of pizza and a burger. <laughs> so bodybuilding and cheat meals podcast. Uh, I've been doing that with two of my buddies in, uh, it's it's been a great experience, you know, because we're all in prep and we're all talking about the food right. and we're all talking about what we're doing for training and you know sometimes uh, one of us is struggling, you know, sure. on the zombie mode, you know. Yeah. So we'll, we'll kind of talk a little smack and pick each other up. So so I told him I said, hey, listen, guys, I'm gonna compete first. I'll <laughs> I'll set the standard for y'all, and y'all gonna have to finish strong for me. So. Well, you pretty much set a very high standard for these guys because you got your pro card. Um, but more importantly, you know, I, I think the thing that really, I, I mean, you've, been, you've done a lot of things we're going to talk about, but I love the fact that you're a professional eater or at least a, a competitive eater. I don't know if you're a professional. I don't even know what now, the status, are you a professional yeah. eater or is there a status thing there? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually, uh, I, I signed a three-year contract with Major League Eating. So <laughs> it is a professional organization. <laughs> it's the only uh, accredited one. So uh, it's the one, you know. On July Fourth, Coney Island, the hot you dog, see him yeah, on, the hot on dog yeah, yeah. So I, I competed against Joey Chestnut a couple times uh, the year before last, and he definitely handed my butt to me. But you know, I'm, I'm still ranked uh, I'm How number many hot one dogs in Kentucky. Did you eat? Um, um, I did, I did thirty two years ago at a uh, thirty and ten minutes at wow. a Nathan's qualifier. I did it at the cardinals cubs game center oh. field so it was uh it was about 100 degrees <laughs> oh my god when you when you eat 30 hot dogs look my, my son yeah. loves hot dogs i i you know i, I, I take him to 7-eleven he's got to have a hot dog he makes me make him hot dogs at the house and i won't eat them because i'm 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 against the the the, the nutritional components of the hot dog but right. i don't care my right. son he's young he, he can eat it yeah. but eating 30 hot dogs i i, I mean I, do you keep those things down do you throw them up after <laughs> Well, it's kind of uh, it's kind of player's discretion there, you right. know. So, what do you uh, usually do uh, for the hot dogs? I was yeah. like, man, I'm actually uh, I'm actually wanting to eat some pizza and some ice cream. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know how long these hot dogs are going to stay down. So, you know, <laughs> sometimes you help them up, but <laughs> if it's uh, if it's if it's like bread, like I did the World Pepperoni Row Eating Championship, which was a lot of bread. It wasn't that much meat, so right. it wasn't that heavy on my stomach. So that that was that was no problem. Um, you know, the main thing is that a lot of people don't understand is um, there's a lot of water training involved. If you want to be, you know, at the top upper echelon of athletes in major league eating, you've got to be able to expand that stomach. So sure. what blows a lot of people's mind is, you know, here I'm in classic physique trying to shrink the waist you know, <laughs> yeah, right. for, for a few months a year. And then I'm ex expanding it and, and blowing it out, which really don't make a lot of sense, but you know, it's a, it's a free cheat meal and uh, you know, you get to travel and to be honest with you, man, it, you know, just like any other sport growing up, you know, you'll get the butterflies. It's like, it's, it's straight competition. You know, oh, yeah. it, it's a, it's a, it's a but, uh, one man sport. But this is what I'm thinking of. You know, when I think of a hot dog, it's got the meat and then there's like a shell around right. it. There's this like this right. skin shell and the, the Italians used to use like you know, intestines really, you know, to do the, the pig right. intestines. But 
So that thing is not that digestible. Now, when you're eating a hot dog, you might, if you're lucky, get a bite out of the thing, right? It's just, you're basically swallowing the hot dog aspect of it. And then you're soaking the bread in water, right? Yeah, so what I do, I like to do the um, the double barrel approach. So okay. take two hot dogs, you kind of mow them down, you right. do smallest bites possible because the, uh, the Nathan's hot dog is the natural uh, beef casing. So it's a little bit different than... Right. Uh, what we use in competition, it's actually a little bit tougher than just your standard, you know, um, run of the mill grocery store hot dog. So, okay. uh, I've, I've got a picture of them all, all laid out, yeah. you know, good, on your Instagram, what's your Instagram? Yeah. Uh, it's dream weaver IV. Okay. I could probably send a, we got it. We got a picture over we'll the Tyler. We'll put your pictures up. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so you mow down yeah, the hot and, uh, dog and then what do you do? You dip the bread in the water. So I dip the bread in the water. I usually, and I didn't know anything about this. You know, I'm, I just, people would tag me on Facebook or Twitter and be like, Hey, uh, there's a such and such contest, you know, taco eating contest going on in Nashville, Tennessee, you know, this weekend for 150 bucks. I was like, well, you know, I'll go train legs and then I'll go uh, fasted <laughs> and, and eat tacos and win money free cheat meal. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's how it kind of started out. And I kept doing that until I, competed at a uh a pro event usually they'll let like one or two amateurs on the table yeah. and uh i did the world mutton eating championship oh. in owensboro kentucky oh. so that's uh, how much that's mutton my, did you eat mature. that's lamb for those people who don't know yeah yeah i ate uh six pounds it oh ended up being God. like 24 24 uh, uh sandwiches in 10 minutes and oh, that was 10 minutes oh my god <laughs> now when you eat that I, when you eat that much uh, mutton okay how long does it take to digest like you know when do you fully poop, poop that stuff out of your body you know well usually and you know you're you're a big fiber component you yeah. know so back in the day i was slamming the fiber lies and that's something that i've, <laughs> I've almost i've almost mastered dave i've uh and I give you a lot of credit for this because yeah. so I've created my own supplement line oh, okay. and I've created in my second product ever is a fiber greens. Yeah. So it's a 10, 10 grams of fiber, yeah. five grams of greens and grains right. and uh, probiotics and stuff. Yeah. I just, I, I took your stuff religiously for, you right. know, four to five years and I get my clients on it. And, right. and that's, that's been something that I utilize this year to, you know, kind of bring my waist in because what I've got to do, I've got to, naturally wider you know played college football you know full back waist right you know and what the judges told me last year at the amateur olympia i won my class but didn't get the pro card and overall right and they told me they said hey listen your waist can't get any wider okay <laughs> as we're walking you down tacos deal. right now on, 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 on <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so so that's uh that's i use that in preparation you know, I do, uh, I fast one day a week. Uh -huh. I did for the, this prep just to, uh, you know, calorie control, right. bring it in my midsection. And, sure. and that's what I would do going into these, uh, food challenges is I, I would fast at least, you know, 18 to 21 hours was usually my sweet spot for these competitions. Do, do other guys do the same thing? Is that a technique that most people use? Is that your own technique? Uh, I talked to Joey Chestnut and he said that what he likes to do he likes two days out. He likes to do liquid only. So he'll do like uh, liquid egg whites and protein shakes. Right. And then a day out he'll fast, uh, but he'll do the water training. So the water training is what they do every day. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that serious into it where I just, I'm, I'm just going to train myself, you know, chugging water. You know, I, I got to where, you know, just playing around with it a couple of years ago, I could do a, a gallon of water in a minute. And wow. you're talking about some serious right. stretchage, you know, it almost, so they almost stretch their stomach rather than with food, which is probably not healthy for you. They do it with water. Right. Okay. I got right. You. Right. Okay. And see, um, uh, what a lot of them will do is, you know, they'll have to bring, you know, a lot of them's way more talented stomach capacity wise than I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just kind of doing it just, you know, for fun, just, just for fun on yeah. the side, you know, and, and just kind of running with it. Um, but a lot of them, like Joey Chestnut, can drink four gallons of water in oh ten minutes. Oh my god! Wow! Don't, <laughs> so, and don't so, go out and do that. You no, can kill no, yourself. No, if you no, do no, that too. no. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So, so, uh, that's, it's very, very toxic. So, you know, there's no way I could do that and no way I'm going to try, but if I can get a gallon of water in, in 10 minutes, you know, it usually takes about six to seven hours to flush that out. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a balloon, like a water balloon, sure. you know, once you stretch it out, once you let the water out, the balloon's going to be a little bit bigger once it finally sure, comes down. Of it so, will, yeah. so it gives me, gives me a little bit of pliability there. Gotcha. So, and, and you know, people don't realize you're, you're not doing this eating every day. So even if you did it once a month, you're not going to blow your waist out from, from, a, from, right. you know, professional right. eating, uh, you know, right. 30 hot dogs once a month. If you did it every right. day, that's a different right. story. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got, um, got asked to be on the table at an event in West Virginia a few weeks ago and I hit him back and I was like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to try one more time for this pro card here and then uh, <laughs> we'll get back on the circuit. Yeah. So, so uh, maybe later this year. Yeah. The pro card is, it's not even that interesting. I'm enjoying the eating questions even better, <laughs> but you did obviously win your pro card. Now, one more thing I wanted to ask you, you were on that show, um, uh, the rock show, right? What was it? Titan games. Yeah. Yeah. The Titan games. Tell me about that. Man, that was uh, that was an incredible experience right there. You know, anytime that you can you can compete in front of uh, one of your idols growing up, you know what I mean. And uh, one of the biggest guys in the game right now, The Rock, he he's he's dominating everything. And uh, just being able to 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 meet him and be on his show, you know, I, I even uh, got a chance to talk to him a little bit backstage, That's and he, cool. he's just such a humble down to earth guy you know we 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 go back and forth uh we're supposed to train soon oh really so uh, cool. so maybe he'll maybe he'll watch this but after one of the competitions it, it took like um like 20 some minutes to push this wall i'm not sure if you had a chance to see it but this lunar impact yeah yeah where, where you where you run up the ladder the it's like a though. two two or three uh if you type in bartley weaver lunar impact on youtube you'll find it but um so I competed in that, and you know I came from behind. I tore my hamstring oh, uh, three th three weeks prior on a forty yard dash at the uh, Titan Games Combine. So I had I had three weeks to to heal. Right. So I mean I was doing every recovery modality you could possibly think of. Just like man, just you know I can't I can't blow this opportunity. Right. And it ended up it ended up holding. It was still bruised up. I showed the rock backstage. Uh, my my heart rate was like 200. I had the EMS on me because I freaking, I can't, I can't, I can't climb as fast. The guy I was going against, uh, is like, was number two in the world, yeah. Matt Chan. He was number two in the world in CrossFit yeah. and he's also a firefighter. So he, he climbed that ladder so freaking fast. It put me in the hole. So <laughs> but once, once he hits the wall and he brings it all the way back to me, it about knocks me off. But I, I had a few inches and then just walked him back over over 20, 30 minutes. And, uh, so once I jumped off after I won, I went up to the rock and I was like, Hey brother, is that army leg day iron paradise? He says, you got it brother. So <laughs> every, every time that we talk, he's like, he's like, yeah, we're going to get that leg workout in. So, That's awesome. That's awesome. That you got yeah. to hang out with the rock and, and that you won and that, you know, yeah. and, and you're a big guy and you know, Ed, Let's add one more little accolade onto your list. You know, okay. you're a you're a police officer as well, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've been a state trooper here in Kentucky for about six years now. So, so if I uh, get pulled over speeding, I can drop your name. <laughs> hey, a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was in New York, I knew all the all the policemen there, and I used to always right. in New York you get the little PBA cards they give out. You know, you can kind of wave it. And be you know, right. very, you know, and, and it was good, and everyone kind of. Now I moved to Florida. Really, you know, I, no one knows me. Luckily, I did get pulled over yeah. once here in my community, and the guy was a bodybuilder, believe it or not. And he, he oh knew yeah. Was, but other than <laughs> that, yeah. If I'm in, if I'm in uh, your state, I'll I'll drop your name. But that's cool. Hey, do you hey. like it? Do you enjoy being a police officer? I do. It's something. Uh, it's something different every day, you know. And uh, you don't always get the opportunity to help somebody. Sure. You know, you're not always putting in a position to help somebody, but the times that you actually do get to help somebody and, and, and you, you know, make somebody's day a little bit easier. Right. It's always uh, rewarding in that aspect. Do you get frustrated when you like see stuff where people put down the police officers, you know, in the news and stuff like that? You know, that's like the, uh, there's a whole bunch of you know people out there who think that, you know, police officers are all bad, you know, and, and, I, and I hate when I see that because you know what, I know so many good guys like yourself right. who are, who are, 
you know, working hard, put their life on the line to, to, to protect us. And then I see these morons out there, you know, because there's one bad seed. And yeah. it's just, it frustrates me, I know, and I'm not even a police officer. Yeah, we've kind of been through a few cycles of this. If you if you think back, you know, ever since I've started, you know, there's there's been, you know, cycles of the media and, you know, yes, there's bad stuff that happens and yes, there's bad apples. But, you know, like you said, you can't can't judge all of them based off, you know, sure. the negative actions of of a couple. So, I mean, I just I just I just answer my call, do my job and uh, treat people how I want to be treated. Sure. And, uh, it seems to take care of itself that yeah. way. I asked that to Ronnie Coleman once a long time ago, and he said the same yeah. thing. You know, he's like, "Look, I can only do be who I am. I can only be the officer I am. You know, and uh, right. can't control what other people are doing." He said, "But I, but I have to yeah. imagine though, it's terrible when you, you know, you, you do spend and devote yourself to this job, and then you hear people just making yeah. it seem like all police officers are, are not good people, and that's right. just not the right. case." So, well, right. all right, you got a pro card now. What are you going to do with this thing? Hey, we're going to the Bahamas this weekend. No, oh, you no are? Time I didn't wasted. even know that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Port, Puerto Rico Pro, uh, yeah, leave tomorrow. So I got to go pick up my PCR test uh, <laughs> today. I was just like, man, you know, I'm already at the top of my weight, yeah. basically. And um, I talked to uh, Flex Lewis and um, Jose Raymond uh, after the show, and they're like, hey, man, just, you know, it's a, it's a small sport. Go ahead and get your face out there. You're absolutely shredded. You know, I, I brought my best package, um, and thankfully, you know, that's it's probably due to the weight cap in Classic. You know, I've right. been, for the past three four years, I mean, I end up losing 23.6 pounds in 48 hours to make weight for Junior Nationals. You're a professional eater. That's nothing. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. what's, what's crazy is I can eat all this food, but I can I can fast like a son of a gun, too. It's, it's, kind, of, <laughs> it's kind of like a all or nothing type of deal. I like think if your you body's wanna... adapted too. Like it knows, you know yeah. what, when he's fasting, you hold the muscle, you don't let anything go. You can let right. the body fat and the water go, but no muscle. And then when you're eating, yeah. your body knows how to yeah. assimilate all that food and like almost yeah. like a, an anabolic yeah. uh, rebound you get off of that. Now, yeah, how it's, many it's... pounds of Bahamian food will you eat after the uh, Puerto Rico pros over? That's the question. <laughs> you know. uh, I'm trying to talk, uh, you need to you need to shoot guy, Sister Nino, a text. I'm trying to get a little food challenge going. With guy, I know uh, you know Jamie the Giant, uh, yeah. Joe Hall. Oh yeah, he's probably a good uh, meat eater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he 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 likes to eat. So uh, I I shot him a message. You know, back in the day, I used to hold man. all the food challenges. Juan Morel won a few of our two. Uh, I know, man. Food challenges. I wish I would have known you back then, and we would have been great. I know it. Furious yeah, Pete came a, in and won a few of our challenges, and it was great. So. I ate. Um, I did a, a food challenge. I was four weeks out from a show. I guess it was. Uh, last year or a year or two ago, yeah. and I was up in uh, New York. I can't remember the name of the place. Ron Ronconcoma. Ronconcoma. Yeah, that's out in Long Island. Ronconcoma. So I, I was there, um, and I wanted to do a little simple food challenge because yeah. one thing I like to do when I travel to new states, I like to get a food challenge win because I want to get a food challenge win in every state. There's okay. only been, <laughs> I think, two two people to do it ever. So. Um, so I looked up the food challenges, you know, and I found a a, a place called Crazy Crepes. Okay. And they had a they had a three pound crepe, and I was like, <laughs> all right, three pounds isn't that bad. I'm on prep, you know, it's kind of clean. Yeah. You know, it's a clean sheet meal. And, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I ate, I ate that, and then we walked next door because there was a authentic pizza spot. Man, I was like, man, I at least need to at least go in and get one slice, or you know, oh check it God. out After a little bit. After the three pound crepe, oh yeah. shit. Yeah. And listen to this. I went in there and had some buddies with me, and they're like, "Yeah, this, this dude's a professional eater. He's he's number uh, thirty four in the world, number one in Kentucky." He said, it, "He'll eat anything you got. What do you got?" And the dude was like, kind of confused. He was like, uh, "Really? Uh, yeah, we can make a food challenge. Uh, what do you want to do?" I was like, "I don't know." I was like, "Let's. Can you make a big cow zone?" He's like, "Yeah, I'll make a five pound one." Oh no way! You <laughs> ate the five pounder. And, yeah, and I was like, "Oh man, I don't know if I can do this." And uh, yeah, so uh, he made he made a calzone about the size of a pillow. Oh my you know god! I mean? so he ate eight pounds of food right back to back. And 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 right after that, I said, "All right, it's time for dessert." And he oh, uh, made oh. two pounds of donuts. Oh, 
that, so, that had so, to get you. That had to ten, get you. So, so 10 pounds. Yeah, I, I, I drank a Diet Coke after that, and I was like, boys, I'm done. <laughs> now, can you actually sleep at night after, after having that much food? See, what's crazy, Dave, is I sleep better. Really? With a big swelled up belly, I just lay on oh. my side, and just let it hang. <laughs> after I would get, after a show, I would go and eat like a lot of food. Yeah. I would I couldn't even fall asleep that night. It would be so it, I'd be sweating and and, and just feeling. Tough. I yeah. guess your body is adapted to it. That's crazy. See, I'm I'm still working off my post junior nationals cheat meal. I had uh, had three pizzas. Oh. I had uh, I had uh, two deep fried moon pies with ice cream on wow. top those were phenomenal my, and uh, one of my eating pr- one of my eating prowess is that is, is in college i was a runner i was really skinny like 140 pounds and they had a pizza eating contest each dorm had someone represent them and they were all fat guys this is before professional eating was really around this was in the 80s yeah and i said and i was always starving myself for bot for for um and i could eat i could eat a lot of food but i was starving myself to keep my weight down for running and so I said, you know what, fine. I, you guys got to let me represent you. They're like, no, yeah, we, let's give this the fat guy. They wanted to have the fat guy. I said, I'm telling you, put, put, I'm going to win. I ate two and a half pizzas <laughs> in five minutes, which yeah. was unbelievable. They'd never seen anything That's like moving. it. And I was still eating pizza after the challenge was over. I, 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 yeah. I was enjoying it because I, was, I would start, literally yeah. starve myself every day, all day, and then just eat at night. Because I, I knew that otherwise I'd gain muscle. You know, I was a, I, my body wanted right. to build muscle, and that's not good for long distance running. Right. So that was, uh, and then I had, a, I think I also had a, a food challenge in high school. I ate 230 vanilla wafers in five minutes. <laughs> yes. And that was, and that, that and I great. retired after that. That was my uh, the end of my food eating career. So. Hey, that's see, you know, I didn't miss a meal for, you know, I didn't miss a meal for, 10, 15 years. You know, I started working <laughs> out when I was. 12 yeah. you know so i've been going almost 21 wow. years and yeah. i've been competing my first show was 2009 and uh so it's been 12 years since i started competing and you know i didn't miss a meal that whole time i was the the bodybuilder's well, body that's why you that's why you're a pro yeah. now <laughs> yeah yeah but what i was saying is i i kind of changed you know with the weight cap you know Right. It, it wasn't all about muscle 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 right, muscle right, it was right. kind of it comes down to a refining process and and just uh, working on my proportions and so i had to you know implement a little fasting just to right just huh. to make up for it those works. higher days it works man yeah. and you did it congratulations bartley it's been a pleasure knowing you all these years and uh hopefully we'll be continue to be friends and uh, you got to send me that t-shirt i like that shirt oh yeah i got you one for sure this right. is uh this is a good little tribe blend for you so <laughs> you like it well, congratulations yep. on the pro card. Good luck uh, in Puerto Rico. I should say good luck in the Bahamas next week at the Puerto Rico Pro. You'll keep us updated for now. Though we are out of time on Dave Palumbo with Bartley Weaver for another installment of RX Muscle Profile. <laughs>